Hey y'all, I'm reporting live from Beverly Hills. Say hello to Paul. Paul, tell him hey. Hey. <laughs> Paul is doing good, y'all. Thank all of y'all for your prayers, uh, your concerns, your messages, your texts. He is overwhelmed and I'm overwhelmed. As I told y'all, they, they trying to stop me from taking over as uh, his executor of his will and uh, power of attorney, all of that. And Paul, I've been loyal with him for two years, never stole not one dime from him. And the only thing he get on me about is yelling. I be yelling and cursing all the time. But hell, I did that around my grandmother, so that ain't nothing new. But uh, I just got to control my anger or whatever. Not towards him, but towards everything that's going on legally that we can't talk about. It was his decision, and he decided where he want all his fortune to go. Tell him about the book that you want me to write. A book about my life. The thing life, one big party after another, and enjoying life forever and ever. Yeah, and so and Paul is eighty nine. He's go he's gonna be ninety after a while. So he entrusted me to write his book, and of course I'm gonna produce the movie, and write the television series and all of that. So I'm honored that he chose me. He didn't want anybody else to do it. He want me to do it. So I'm gonna do that for him. But I just want to give a quick update. You see, he's out at the hospital. He's at the office, and as I said, Paul loves his office. He built the empire once valued at $1 billion with offices in 26 states for attorneys. So he did that. David Bowie uh, stayed at his house. Uh, Lenny Kravitz played at his parties. He once had the biggest house in the Hollywood Hills on Sunset. Uh, how many employees you had? 800. 800 employees. And um, let me see, what, 26 states? Yep, found at Fijian Suites. And, you know, so I, I'm honored because, like I told y'all, I was just a gay boy from Mississippi. Paul always said, and I'm straight. <laughs> He's, I, I was just, I always wanted to be an attorney. I wanted to be rich and famous. I wanted to be a celebrity. I wanted all of that. And everything that I was, this man is, besides, the, you know, the funny part. <laughs> but, uh, he, you know, he dated Pam Grill. Y'all know the black famous actress? And he was also the attorney for um, uh, the Hollywood madam, Heidi Fleiss. He dated her. Uh, you know, he was, I mean, his legacy gone. Uh, the mayor of, let me see, let me show y'all the proclamation from the mayor, the late Tom, Thomas Bradley. Paul on the cover of the Los Angeles Times. And the list goes on and on and on. So I just want to just thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart, man. It has been crazy. I got attorneys, uh, everybody trying to file a restraining order against me. I got so much going on because they want to control his estate. But it's not happening. long as he alive, he's going to be taken care of. And he had always offered me money and said, oh, get you this, buy you an apartment, get whatever. No, I'm happy living in my car for two years. He is taken care of. His All his needs are met. He's being fed every day. He's being clothing every day. He's with me, uh, what, 12 hours a day. So he's good. And so I just wanted to let y'all know that Paul is well. He's home. Thank y'all so much. And tell him bye, Paul. Bye bye. All right, and y'all check check him out on YouTube at um uh look he doing his little magic stuff. He's at uh, uh America's Got Talent um uh, uh America's Got Talent uh the Fig Life or Fantastic Fig and also uh De uh Bruno Mars. He's in Bruno Mars uh video. How ironic! What as what you played in Bruno Mars? Uh, I I I was in the. In, in, Twice, and I'm dressed as an actor, as a homeless guy. <laughs> How ironic. <laughs> Your employee homeless, and he dressed as a homeless guy. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, he offered me the world, man. I'm, I ain't after his money. I'm taking care of him. God has blessed me. You know, I got a Mercedes. I got everything I want. I got degrees. I got all of that. I ain't thinking about that. He is my dad. That's my granddad. That's my... 
my boss. I mean, he's my everything. So I'm making sure I'm following his wishes. And if they want to fight, baby, they better bring it on. But look, I love y'all. We finna get back to work. But I want to let y'all know Paul is here at the office. And we appreciate your love, your prayers, your concerns, and everything. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Bye-bye.